Program Director, uh, Professor Patrick Fitzgerald, the Head of School of Governance, Professor David Everett, Everett and then the a colleague from the Department of Human Settlement, Mr. N.T. Ramoga. All academic staff who are present here, graduates, uh, I am told they are spouses. A lot of the audiences here are spouses. <laughs> <laughs> and also children of the graduates. I must also greet all the distinguished guests that are here. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's indeed a great privilege and honor for me to be speaking at this August occasion. You are guests here to invite me, Professor Everett, it's a confirmation of the seriousness in which you take uh, government uh, seriously. Indeed, in the era we live in, the subject of communication, uh, public policy, development, is a nexus for peace, economic development, and social development. Sometimes conflicts bring, bring up purely because of poor communication. Graduation epitomizes every student's academic uh, pursuit. It is also a moment to look back at what one has achieved in the many programs and courses undertaken as you chart the way forward to enter uh, the professional careers of your choice. I know that most of you are employed by government. The fact that you are graduating today is a clear testimony that you have successfully gone thorough through the academic roga that has culminated in you being conferred with these certificates. As Professor Everett has said, it's our wish that then it doesn't end in you being handed these certificates. You must, you must enroll. I once again congratulate you for your sacrifice and efforts that have enabled you to attain this honor. Uh, when I address the group in the professional certificate in government communication and marketing late last year, I told them that when you attend school at VETS, you'll never go wrong. And I, I'm 100% assured now that all of you now are intending to further your studies. Am I wrong? That's what I said to say some of you that you'll never go wrong with this. As most of you will know that one of the biggest challenges facing government is in the area of communication. You are being here in an effort for, from our part to ensure that our communication is improved and made more effective. The same thing goes to public policy. The VETS School of Governance has assured me that you have interacted with a wide range of experience uh, communicators that include also experience uh, academic in the field of uh, housing policy development and also the issue of sector result based management system. And then I'm very much encouraged that through that interaction that, that, that has got an impact in your years of professionalism and experience. I've also been assured that as you see today, you have been provided with the skills and expertise needed for government to effectively uh, communicate with stakeholders and also for those of you who are doing the housing development policy to make sure that the government's policies are implemented and also enabled to res respond to a whole range of stakeholder information needs. The people-centered orientation that government has adopted in relation to service delivery, it calls for additional skills and expertise, including the branding capability of a range of government services. It is important, therefore, for all of us to understand that communication in itself is service delivery. To communicate is to deliver a service. If our people are not sufficiently informed about how their tax monies are spent, it should not come as a surprise when from time to time we get various protests. And I will want to share with you that the government is operating in a very complex environment which has both local and international permutation that require appropriate communication expertise. We need to know how to communicate which information and be mindful of the audience that we are communicating to. As I conclude, it is important for all of you 
to understand and appreciate that you now carry a big responsibility of being ambassador, not only of government, but also this vets school of governance. You must carry these brands with pride and inspire the confidence to all those you'll be interacting with. I also have a bit of good news for some of you this afternoon. It is with great excitement that I, ad that I advise you that Bidvest, in its support to government and our ministry in particular, have committed to accommodate the top five graduates from this program into the Bidvest group of companies. Bidvest has advised that the top five graduates will be placed in five various in, in, will be placed in various of their businesses across their group for a period of six weeks to gain experience and exposure to the various operational and leadership aspects of the business. <laughs> this is another example of how private sector should be working with the university and government to achieve a common goal. We are indeed grateful to Bidvest for their patriotic gesture, and we hope that it will inspire more companies to do the same. Ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity to challenge our graduates to uphold the ethical values acquired from this university as you endeavor to serve our fellow South Africans with a lot of diligence. Make all of us proud, in particular, your parents. I'm mindful of that, some of which never had this opportunity. I may I wish you good luck in all your future and endeavors. Thank you so much.